ones got me. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. What's up, Wayne? Hey, how's it going? What's going on, man? How can we help you? So, I had a date with this girl named Danica, and she's totally, like, ghosting me. Uh-oh. What'd you do? How'd you f*** up? What'd you say? What did you show her? I didn't do anything. I thought I did really well. It was just one date? Uh, well, we, okay, so we were talking back and forth through, like, Tender or whatever, like, maybe, like, a week or two. And then we finally met up. Uh, I took I took her to Kowloon. Oof, um, good choice. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured like I'd get her some Stargust wings. It'll be dope. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah hold well, on. I was gonna say. I think we found her. Is it Melissa? <laughs> <laughs> you said you were texting back and forth like crazy before the day, and you went to Kowloon and had Stargust wings. We- it, if it Shut doesn't up. work out with whoever the hell this girl is, we got someone for yeah, you. Yeah, we got someone for you. But but go ahead. I'm sorry I interrupted. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we were vibing, we were laughing, chilling, and then the date was over, and then I was like, hey, we should hook, we should hang out sometime, and hang out, and go on to, oh yeah, of course. So, like, I shot her a text, like, the next day, I was like, hey, it was a fun date, uh, when can we meet up again? And then that was it. It was, like, nothing. Oh, she didn't respond? Hmm. All right, no. I got a question. Uh, are you one of those people who eats your chicken, like, you know, barely bites it and leaves a bunch of meat left on the bone? Because I know that that's a turnoff for some people. Or do you devour no, it and leave just bone? If that were a reason? I, I mean, mean, hey, I'm just... Yeah. That <laughs> people just fact, need to stop dating yeah, if that's yeah, yeah, yeah. If she doesn't yeah. like the yeah. Saugus wings, My that'd be a reason yeah. for you to not want to talk to her again. Um, oh. We just didn't vibe. He was disrespectful the way he ate those Saugus <laughs> wings. Hey. <laughs> They're legendary. I'm just saying. All this talk about wings is getting me hungry. Okay, you know what? Let's just, uh, we're going to try and call her for you next, okay? Now back to the second date update on the 10. With Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. All right, we just spoke to Wayne. Um... I got to be honest. We're going to try and call this girl Danica for Wayne, but if it doesn't work out, I, I want to set you up with Melissa because... Shut up. No, I mean, come on, man. Th- this dude's date consisted of taking her to the Kowloon and eating Saugus wings. And before that, I they... I mean, and before, the last date I did that, though, the guy hasn't called me back, so that's probably not a good sign. But before that, they were text bombing each other before the date. Right. It was, like, it sounds like your type of guy. And just like yours, it didn't work out after either. But so... <laughs> Um, okay, so one more time I'm going to ask you. Before we try and give her a call, Wayne, do you think you did or said anything that might have possibly disgusted her? Honestly, there's nothing I can think of. All right, well then, be quiet, and we're going to call her up. Hello? Hi, is this Danica? Who's calling? Uh, okay, it is. Okay, so Danica, my name's Romero. I'm here with Pebbles and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9. It, it's a radio station. And if you just let me explain, it, it's a good reason we're calling you. Somebody gave us your number, and they wanted us to reach out to you. Can I tell you why? Um, Sure. Okay, it'll be quick. It's a guy who wants to take you out on a date. Now, you know who he is, and I'm going to tell you his name. But, but first, let me just tell you that if you do say yes... You can pick whatever date you want. You can pick the place, uh, the day, the time, everything. And whatever it is, we'll take care of it. Um, and we'll do it on your schedule, too. And like I said, I'll tell you the guy's name. So it's not you're not being set up in any weird way. So his name is Wayne. OK, um, like I really appreciate you guys calling. And I'd rather not do this to him. But it's the date. The date. It was cool. I just didn't want to see him again. So it was, you what, you just didn't feel like you guys had a connection or? There was something off about his hygiene. There was something off, off about, about his hygiene. So when we first met, um, he was talking to me and I noticed that his mask looked a little um, dirty. But I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, whatever. But. As he kept talking throughout, you know, while we're waiting to get seated and everything, there was this stench, and I couldn't figure out what it was, and I thought it was him, but the more he kept talking, it was his breath through the mask. When I looked a little closer, there was like a sh- 
stain on his <laughs> mask. Hold on. That is not true. Yeah. What do you mean a like, sh- stain on his mask? What does that you mean? Know when, you know when a little boy's in their pants, there's like, a brown Like skin spot. marks. Yeah, that's it. That's it. A skin mark in his mask. And I'm thinking, this can't be. But then as I smelled his breath, I said, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> what? That is a special kind. Uh, actually, Danica Wayne's on the phone right now, and he's been listening is to what you're saying. Is he still there? Oh, God. Uh, I it's pretty embarrassing. Let me, hold on, let me smell. Yep, he's on the phone. Stop it. Wayne. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I, you should have said something. I had no idea. Explain yourself. <laughs> She should have said so. So you would have. If she, if she, yeah, if she said to you, Wayne, I can smell your breath through both of our masks, and it's so bad that it's staining the inside of your mask. You would have taken that and and been fine with it. I mean, I would have probably been embarrassed. I would have like did something to rectify it. Do you have your mask on you or near you or? Probably in his ass. <laughs> Damn. Wayne, can you pull your mask out of your ass and... and... Stop it! <laughs> Wayne? That would explain the shit stain. I mean, I don't know. I still don't believe it. How is someone's breath causing marks? Oh, in... so I don't understand that. How is it not like recycling back and hitting his nose? Wayne, are you there? Yeah. I think he's... In... Oh, you're back. Okay. Do you have the mask? Yeah, I do see a little mark on it. I never really noticed it, though. Well... I did notice a lot of people are like farting around me recently, but like, was it just me? Wait, I mean, how often do you change your mask? You supposed to change them? Oh, I thought they always work. Exactly. Oh my god. How long? Okay, so what? how long have you been wearing that mask for? I got it since like the whole pandemic, like end of March, beginning of March. You're lying, Jesus You're Christ, dude. Lying. Throw that piece of. Sh- away and and get yourself a new you're supposed to wear a new mask like i mean you could do it daily it depends on how, how often you wear it but jesus christ it's like you, you might you might as well just throw on some old ass underwear over your face i thought he did <laughs> <laughs> all right well how about this uh danica if wayne uh starts wearing a new mask no <laughs> <laughs> wayne Sorry. Yeah, I got some bad news. Is he news and some still good there? Yeah. I don't know. Wayne. Wayne. I think he might have hung up. <laughs> he hung up. Uh, I hope he got the changing your mask part before he got pissed <laughs> off and hung up. Tomorrow on the second date update on the ten. All right. Uh, add this to your pre-sex checklist. No gum. Actually, nothing in your mouth. All right. You'll understand why when you hear a second date update on the tens tomorrow morning, eight ten, with the get up. Crew. <laughs>